Our final speaker for the day is going to be Ali Mullah. Please help me welcome Brother Ali Mullah to the stage. My dear sisters, brothers and comrades, this is the last time Khalid Barakat speaks before me. He left me nothing to say. But I have a lot in my heart to say to you. Thank you to every single one of you here and for the people who couldn't stay and left. Thank you to the young sisters and young brothers and to people from every walk of life who are standing up for Palestine. Thank you for the rabbis and the lovely little children and imams and everyone, people of faith or no faith, but we all are partner in faith of humanity and dignity. Thank you all. My friends, I'm fasting, so I have to keep, I have to keep my tongue. Otherwise, I would have a lot to say to all those politicians, from City Hall to Ottawa, to those spineless politicians who are so annoyed by our rallies. I would have said shame on you, shame. but they have no shame. They have no shame. They have no honor. They have no values. For 180 days, more than 40,000 people killed, 75,000 people injured. The whole health sector, hospitals been destroyed, and those people are angry with our rally. Well, next time we will rally at your homes, at your offices, at your offices, to, to awake whatever left any shred of your conscience if you have one. But you brothers and sisters and peoples around the globe made them change. You remember from day day one, day one we called for ceasefire and they didn't listen. When this week Biden, Trudeau, whatever the guy's name in British is, you know, Germany, they are talking about ceasefire. Hello, ceasefire, you know, and you are not willing to implement it with, with the strength and with force, like is the Palestinian blood less and cheaper than water to you? They are criminals! They are criminals! They are racist! They are racist! It took seven, eight workers to be killed by Israel, and the whole world woke up. And we're sorry for their life. We're sorry for their life to be wasted. But that what caused the so-called leader to wake up. Even the mainstream media did not name the Palestinian driver and the Palestinian because they are racist. It is in their blood, and we shouldn't be afraid of saying it. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, no one, no one is free as long as one of us are chained. And no one, no one can make us feel inferior without our consent. And we will never, ever consent as the Palestinian people for 75 years never consented to occupation and they continue resistance. Yeah. My, final, my final thing, you will read in some yellow newspaper like the Post and the Sun and all that garbage, or you will see some on the mainstream talking about, you know, pro-Hamas. We are pro-resistance. We are, we are pro we are pro humanity. We are pro dignity. We are with the people who fight their occupiers by any means necessary. People who are occupied 
it's international law and it's a symbolic law have the right to fight their occupiers by any means necessary yeah. 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 I, will tell them, I don't want to dignify them by saying their name but I will tell organizations who are Zionists take your crap and eat it and take your garbage and shove it support occupation because you are a bloodthirsty. We support resistance because we live life. We love life. Palestinians love life. We do love life. We feel the pain of others. We are so attached to the human elements and our feelings. That's why their pain is our pain. So finally, my dear brothers and sisters, and I honestly feel, I want to talk to you more and more. But it's Ramadan, people have to go, prepare their fast, and you've been here for a couple hours. My utmost love and respect to you all. And on behalf of Al-Quds Committee, and the partners, PYM, Toronto for Palestine, and all groups who are helping us and work together, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, but before you leave, please stay tuned. More action will be coming from our activists of the Palestinian young people. And we love them, because finally, alhamdulillah, we have some young girls and boys taking the church and leading the way, and we support them. Yeah. Also, also, please tune, we will have we will have a huge gathering for not Al Nakba Day, Al Muqawama Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't want to call it Nakba. I call it the continuous resistance to occupation until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Thank you. Thank you. And long live free Palestine.